All right, Shalom. First off, we want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Rakah Kodash. You know, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, brothers, that's preaching this word, sincerity and truth. You know, we just wanted to um, do a, a brief and transit le uh, uh, lesson. You know, we're on our way to um, Lika with the Akiam over here in the, the San Francisco Bay Area camp, all right, Great Millstone. <laughs> You know, to um, to hold the uh, the Pasak service, okay, in which we know is a uh, it's a it's a solemn solemn assembly, uh, solemn assembly, which uh, the Apostle Kabar brings out a lot, you know, which means serious, you know, it's not a it's not a uh, it's not an Israelite party, okay, it's a remembrance to um <clears throat> to uh, uh to what to what we um to what we we did back in uh, the time of Egypt. And according to Revelation 11 and 8, this is spiritually Egypt and Sodom all over again. Okay? So this is uh, it's basically uh, remember, remembering uh, the, the deliverance that the Lord, the, the, the judgment and, and destruction and deliverance that the Lord brought, all right, uh, towards his, his people, the Israelites, okay? And towards um, that judgment upon what the Egyptians, you know? those who who held uh the nation of israel captive okay and which now uh it tells you that in what romans the ninth chapter esau is uh the modern day pharaoh you know we're we're in the same case scenario all over again you know just with an edomite face to it so yeah um I'm, uh, we're gonna start off with this right here this is, uh, ezekiel 9 and 4 and the lord said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yeah. And um, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So go out through go throughout the nation of Israel, basically, and set a mark. That mark is uh, when you look into that word mark, it's the war, which means uh, exemption from judgment. So so place the angels uh, are um, or giving the commandment. To place the, uh, that exemption from judgment upon those who who are sighing and crying, all right. Basically, they set that that seal upon the elect, you know. And, oh, you wanted to add something? Uh, just like uh, back in the times, back in the time when we were in Egypt, yep. and and um, we had we had did the mark on the door to, symbol, to symbolize yeah. us not getting taking part in that judgment that yeah, was going the, down. The blood, the blood, the blood of, of, the, of the, lamb. the lamb. Yep. All right, and that's and that's basically what the mark that we got right now spiritually. Yep. All right, so we we spiritually taking that mark by doing what? By uh, by us drinking the blood. Yeah, I was shy doing the whole ceremony and 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 continuing on in the faith. Yep. And ultimately being covered by the blood of Yah uh, Yahweh Shai, which yep. is the ultimate sacrificial lamb. You know, when he came on the scene two thousand <laughs> years ago, in which two thirds of our own people placed that blood upon them head their heads in in a, in a, in the worst way. You know, they said like his, they 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 crucified they get crucified the Lord and they put that they put that judgment and that condemnation upon their heads and their children's heads, and which is why you see our people in the case uh, in the case that they're in today, totally through, yeah. and and that's why you see what their the children that they they, they said placed uh, Yahweh Shah's blood upon their head and their children's head the children they're through man Generation Z baby, you know, so all you see. Is is hey man? You see in the judgment come the, uh, uh, taking place, man, and it's further it's further gonna um, <clears throat> it's further gonna intensify uh, uh, the more Yahweh Shai uh, returns, hey man. Cause hey, a lot of you, a lot of you, you wicked ass niggas, hey man. The Lord, you gonna see the Lord's return, you know? Yeah. And the Lord told you what to look out for when he uh, to let you know the signs when he's on his way to returning, mm -hmm. and that's what you see coming to pass now. That's why the apostles deemed this year to year prophecy. That's right. Because you can see, we're clearly seeing the signs, and it make, it's being made evident that the Lord is on his way back to return. All right. This is uh, um, the closest it's ever been with the um, the doomsday clock. Yep. All yep, right. Sure this is. is the closest it's been to World War Three in general. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the most uh, jobs being lost ever. Everything basically bad that's possible to happen in a society, just about, is basically happening in Babylon. Yep. And all and, and all throughout the world, really, you know, but chiefly, chiefly here in Babylon, because the, hey, 
the great destruction side slash the great deliverance is going to be uh held here it's going to yeah. take place here and this was always that place that was always looked look um highly upon like that was on the pedestal yeah. everybody looked at this is like the uh, the place to where you come to get jobs make money get rich all those things are coming and not here people actually leave in america yeah yeah that's called that's according to the prophecies all right you know because this place this place is done all right i'm, I'm gonna continue on real fast yeah. Uh, so it says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yeah, and back during the time uh, when our people was in Egypt, what did uh, the Lord, the Most High, Yahweh, say unto Moses? He heard, he heard the cry of our nation. You know? when they Hey, cause, hey our people catch catching hell now. The only difference is they're not crying about it. They love it here, these niggas. So now that, hey man, that's why the Lord said, hey, two thirds are gonna be cut off, cause you're you niggas are holding us back, you know, from progress, man, from getting the fuck out of here, you know. Yeah. So the Lord said, I I have heard the cry of my people, you know, and, and what he sent he sent Moses, uh, uh, uh <clears throat> to um to basically as a deliverer, you know, really, he sent Moses as uh as a deliverer, as a messenger. You know, as a prophet, all right. To what? Give warning unto the, the uh, to the Pharaoh, in which the Lord, the Lord just hardened his heart so that he can bring, he can show, show for, uh, show forth his power, and bring forth that much of a great deliverance, in which uh, it tells you Jeremiah, hey man, this deliverance from this coming World's War Three, this thermonuclear destruction is gonna uh, uh, outdo the deliverance of, uh, during the time of Egypt, man. So there's going to be a whole new high holy day, man. And the Lord is age. Hey, man, it's going to be a... The Lord is just going to let loose. He's going to really show his power, his might. Okay? In, in, in all ways. So yeah, so this time, man, the elect are crying now. And the Lord hears his elect. Okay? So it says... Um, it says... Uh, it set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others, he said in mine hearing. That's right. To the others, the two thirds, man. You know, niggas, nigga bitches, spicks, spick bitches. All right, nigglets, spicklets, wetbacks, tomahawks, tantos. All you niggas of the tribes, okay. Man, women, and children, okay. Elderly. Hey, well, it's gonna go into it. It's a spirit. He said and to the others, he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Yeah, smite means kill, man. Put him to death. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. That's right, man. Say utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. Yeah, all of them. Okay? You know, because who perished being innocent? All right? But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Because, hey, because judgment... Go ahead. You got no, that's what I was going to just say. <clears throat> that's what it's the same thing it says in First Peter's. Yep. About the judgment beginning at the house of the Lord. That's right. And that's basically the, the perfect precept to go along with that, because it said judgment is going to start at His house. All right. And that's where that's that's why you see our people, uh, our people getting judged, niggas getting killed on the live stream, our niggas going to jail, uh, doped out. Basically, just yeah, niggas getting trapped up. Yeah. By by Esau, by the nigga woman, all right, all these snares that 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 Babylon, this world has to offer you, you know, which really you 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 entangle yourself into when you when you love this when you love and your heart is is invested in this world, yeah. you know, it's this confused society, you're gonna fall into it and just get caught up. Yeah, and I had a precept too to go with what you was um, saying, reason. Yep. <coughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, like it, um, um, going up with what you were saying about the the, uh, the two thirds are the other ones that didn't have the mark, and that the, the people that have the mark are are basically us. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Zechariah, this thirteen and eight, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, save the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And that third that's left there, and those are the same people that got the that exemption from judgment, that mark, because they're the ones that's gonna that's not gonna get put to death. Like the two thirds are, y'all don't they don't have the mark. Yeah, they're, hey, we, hey, really, through the spirit, the um, 
great millstone from the apostles and the elders on down and the true believers, the followers thereof, we're the only ones that's going to be uh, holding this, holding um, the facade, all right, as, as it is written and, and, and in faith according to what, uh, what we believe uh, 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 that the proper day is set up to, uh, to be on, okay, measuring, measuring the times, okay. You got all these other pseudo Israelite camps. They're 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 holding they're holding the pasak on different uh on, on different days, different months, different times of the year. They're holding it proper, uh, uh, totally wrong. They're letting unbelievers be around be around and, and take uh take part in it. You know. But hey, but what? That's that's cool because really that's all the Lord uh, uh deceiving them. Okay. So so really. Just like in the time of uh, of Egypt, all right, when when uh, Israel was given a commandment to what slay slay the uh, slay the uh, the lamb, all right, put the put the blood upon the post, all right, eat in haste, you know, hey, amen. Because we we hey we, Jake had to do it moving, you know, hey, but what the other hey, not everybody got that that message, you know. Just like not everybody's gonna get the message on this end, on this side. Not everybody's hold, uh, uh, holding the solemn assembly. Only what? Only the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Those who, 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 uh, who, um, the ultimate sacrificial lamb, the blood of Yahweh Shai, okay, is, is, uh, is covering, you know? Who, who spiritually, uh, uh, who's, uh, spiritually covered by the, by the blood of Yahweh Shai, man, you know? Yeah, I just I just want to slack y'all. I just want to say that, uh, yeah. you know, put put it in that um, reference. Cause Egypt didn't know what the fuck. Hey, them Egyptians ain't know what the hell is going on. Yeah. That's why hey, they just waking up to dead bodies, yeah. bugging out. You know, just like these niggas. Nobody, no, this world don't know what's going on. That's why they bug off the smallest things like oh, uh, false flags that whatever false flag Esau throws out or anything that do happen, they bug out at the smallest things because they don't know what's going on. They living in a the bubble. They, they're living in a real, real uh, fantasy life. Basically, you're painting the image that America's is this good old place where you can just, you can ma actually make it where it's really not. It's the total opposite. Yeah. This is a place that's set up for your destruction. It's not meant for you, like the, like the scriptures say. This is not our rest. Yeah, the spirit. This is that. not your rest. This is only set up for you to be destroyed here. But you, you're, you're so bugged out. You believe it in your mind that you can make something happen for it to be your rest. This, you want to make hell your rest when it's hell. Yeah. The same souls in the wilderness that wanted to go back to Egypt after they was just des delivered with a great deliverance, may I add. And they seen they seen the they seen the power and the might of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So this time the Lord is gonna lead these niggas in, uh, here in Egypt to burn. Why deliver these niggas so they can be in a chariot is bitter and uh, bickering and and and, 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 and uh, murmuring, uh, murmuring. Fuck that, man. Leave, leave them, leave them to to, to murmur in, in in the fire, you know. Should be weeping and gnashing teeth, man. All right. You, you got it. You you was finished the precept, or you have more? Yeah, I finished. Hey, well, you can get my my uh, my ten. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. This is uh Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart. Yeah, you have to depart spiritually, man. You know? Just like it goes into what? Uh, same Matthew, I believe, the sixth chapter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah bug outs. Same Matthew, the sixth chapter, it says, uh, where the same place where your treasure is, the same place your heart is going to be. So if your, if your heart is in the heavens, man, you your heart has departed from this place, from this hellhole. Hey, man, but if your heart is here, man, guess what? You're going to be like Lot's wife. You're going to perish. You're going to turn to a pillar of salt. That's like the scriptures say, um, men being lovers of themselves. Because like you said, they are going to be here. And that's where their heart is. They, they're thinking about themselves. And if you so-called love yourself, you're you're thinking about how to how to please yourself in this society. Yep. So you're a lover of yourself. And that's what you're going to party. That's going to lead to your destruction. Yeah. You're not a servant of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You're a servant of your flesh. Yep. You know, you don't, you're not you're not about to sign and cry. You don't have the mark on you. You're not going to complain about what's going on in America. You like it here. Yeah. You you look at this place as this place is your the last stop. Like this is what this is what life is supposed to be like. At the bottom, and Esau just Esau being uh, just a pure devil in your face, and you just take that L. 
every single day and just try to make the best of it. Yeah. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Yeah, it's polluted. And it's polluted on many levels. It's polluted morally, spiritually, physically. Yeah. You got the blood of the Israelites here, man. This land is cursed. Yeah. Hey, man, it tells you that in Isaiah the 24th chapter, man. This place is a fucking curse, man. You know, and this place is just nothing but a remembrance of, of the cat, the bondage and the, the hardcore slavery, the blood, sweat, and the tears of your people, man. You know, that continue to get shed to this very day. And you want to, our people want to forget about everything that happened. Let that stand to basically be in the Edomite spirit. Say, leave it in the past. Be cool with Esau now. Where any, any Edomite, you ask them if that happened to their people, they would never let it go. They'll still be like, had that, they'll still have that hate in their heart to this very day. But you niggas, you the only ones that would forgive somebody for doing that. And by niggas, I mean you, everybody. All the tribes, you yeah. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All y'all, y'all uh, quick to be cool with the so-called white man, buddy up with him. When he's really just trying to destroy you. So you're not signing, you don't want to sign cry. You just want to, you really just love Egypt. You're the same ones who, when we went to the wilderness, you wanted to come back. You were mad that you couldn't stay in Egypt. You wanted to stay in Egypt instead of being, being um, brought out, brought out of it and brought into salvation, man. You want to be destroyed, so the Lord's going to let you have that. Give yep. you what you want. That's right, man. That's right. Like it says, um, I believe in Romans, the first chapter, you know, they didn't want to retain the uh, the most high in their, in their thoughts, basically, not quoting yeah. verbatim. The Lord, Lord gave you niggas over to your own ruins, basically. So, hey, you know, that's all that's coming for this place and you and you people, especially you niggas, man, because, hey, judgment must start at the house of the most high, you know? It's nothing good coming here, man. Lamentation of mourning and woe, as it says in Ezekiel. That's all we got, to, that's all we got for you niggas, man. Nothing but it, bad times. All right, uh, I want to. Yep, this is uh, Jude one and five. I would therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is knowledge that we we once knew in our past lives, man. You know, that's why when you look into the word educate, I believe the word is educar, which means to draw out that which is already in you. You know. I believe the uh, Moses name goes into that, you know, Masha, yeah, which means out. drawn. Yeah. Okay. It's all, hey man, omen, no man. It's all spiritual, you know. The elect coming back into their lot. Two thirds coming, everybody coming back into their lots, man. Good and guess what? See, seeing their lot off to the very end. Okay. Everybody gonna see the see see the final end in in end stage of their lot. The elect. They're gonna they're gonna see the final end of their lot, all right, and get that reward. Two thirds they're gonna see the final end of the end of their wicked wicked doings, and they're gonna be recompensed. Esau is finally gonna have to pay for his tab. He's been fucking building up <laughs> for generations. All oh, these heathen nations, man. It's hey man, this, hey man. This is the this is the judgment season, man. You know, it's like it, bro. I was looking for a for you guys. Yeah, it says I would therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. How that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, yeah, the Most High saved saved us out of the, the land of Egypt, and He's getting ready to save us out of the uh, 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 the, the spiritual Egypt, man, Babylon. Okay, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. All right, because like it says in Hebrews. Without, without faith, it is impossible to please him. And that's something that you niggas lack. And that's something that you always lacked. All right? All y'all, you, you two-thirds as a whole. And guess what? Just like the Lord destroyed you back then, the Lord is going to destroy you again. Okay? Even worse. The same shall know it through death by pain, man. You got it, all right? Well, I, I ain't finding this for long. <laughs> <laughs> But basically, uh, it, it's not. That's not it's what I'm about. To, basically, like the scriptures say, it's nothing new under the sun. Though. Yep. Everybody comes under the, the same lot. They, they, um. It's it, just, it's no just no changing it. Yeah, it's just continuation of the story. 
got your judgment and you was a wicked nigga in your past life and you came back as a wicked nigga again. Nigga, nothing, wicked. Nothing changed. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Just like Esau, he gave, he's born, it he says he's going out the womb speaking lies and being a devil. You just came out the womb being a wicked nigga. That's all it was. You didn't have a choice in the matter. Yeah, it's all, it's all predestination. Yep, like the scriptures say, predestined from the, from the very beginning. Knowing the beginning from knowing the end from the beginning. Yep. It was already predestined for you to just be that guy that was a wicked nigga. Yeah. So it's not you can be mad all the all as you want to, really. It doesn't change the fact you're gonna be destroyed. Yeah. Just like Esau, man, tells you that in Romans the ninth chapter. He was predestined to be the devil. The same you know, when it's it goes into Jacob and Esau, you know, not doing not doing good nor evil. Hey man, he was predestined to be the wicked. He was predestined to do a whole lot of damn evil, all right? To be the face of evil, you know? And to be the uh, the ruler in the day of evil, you know? Hey, hey, I say the wicked were created for the day of evil. You know? Hey, man, we're, we're at that time. Just like, just like Jacob was predestined to be the righteous, to be the good guy, you know? To be the man, all right? Hey, man, that, and that all starts with what? Yahweh Shai and, 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 um, and the elect Alright You know You two thirds You're going to be destroyed on this side right. You'll be brought back You'll be brought back Through the ones of the elect man And you're going to have that shame Yeah Because you didn't want to get You didn't you didn't get it right on this side And you're going to You don't understand that now But in the kingdom You're going to understand like The full spec The full You're going to pull the full spectrum all right, you gonna under, fully grasp how yeah. like you was being, a, you was going, you're gonna know you was being wicked. All the acts you did, you didn't want to listen when you had, you took, you didn't take heed when you had liberty to. You chose, and then that's what's gonna make you really feel ashamed because we was, we, your brother was trying to come to you and you wasn't being brotherly. And it go back to the curses. It just you, hey, the Lord set it up for you not to get it on this side. That's all it is. Yep, it's nothing to be mad about. Uh, on our end, you might be mad, but we not we we get upset here and there, but we understand. You, you niggas were set up to do what you do. All right, you play your life. Yeah. Right, you got something? Well, no, nah, I was I was gonna bring it up, but really, it's it's all spiritual. I was gonna say, just like Isaiah said, you know, he acts in in Isaiah the sixth chapter, you know, how long. You know, with two thirds be blinded, the Lord said to these niggas be utterly desolate, to they be destroyed, basically. That's when you're gonna see it when you die. Yeah. The same shall know it through death by pain. The Lord don't wanna heal you. Yeah. He doesn't wanna save you, so he's not gonna allow you to get it. That's why he said two thirds are gonna be destroyed, because those are the ones that he has that he's obviously mad at. He wants you to be he don't want you to make it on his side. That's gonna be your healing. Death. Yeah. That's the remedy. The whole body is sick. That's the remedy. Man. Like it says in Isaiah. Why should you be stricken anymore? You've been, the niggas went through slavery. All right, niggas, we done, we, we done went through slavery. We done got caught hell after slavery. We still catch a hell today and niggas don't want to get it right. So it's really, y'all been getting, y'all been getting stricken like for a long time. All right, cause Esau been, been basically judging you for, cause he's a, he's that a whipping stick. Like the scriptures say he's a most high sword. All right, that punishing us. So you've been, you niggas have been getting punished for how long? You still not getting right. So the Lord is just gonna take you out. That's really the only way to get you right. He's gonna take you out, and when you bring, when He brings you back, you're gonna have that new heart in you, and it's gonna, you already gonna be programmed to be right, because you can't get it right on your own. Yeah. That's right. And you got no cloak for your sins. All right, Yahweh Shai already hit the scene two thousand years ago, and y'all denied him. Okay. Y'all put that blood upon him and your children. All right. And we're here, we're here from our apostle elders, and instead of Yahweh Shai, to remind you that that blood is required of you. <laughs> all right? You made a covenant with, all right, generations ago, you made a covenant to the Lord to serve the Lord. And that's th that's not disannulled just because you died and came back. That covenant still stands to this very day. Yeah. So you, you might not take, you might not accept it and say like, oh, no, I didn't do that. That was my, like Esau said, that was my ancestors. That was my forefathers. Y'all, well, that was you in the reincarnation. Just like we tell Esau, that was you in the reincarnation when you made that covenant to, um, to, to follow the statutes and commandments of Yah, Bashem, Yah, Shai, and the serpent. Yeah. Just because you don't want to accept that this day and age doesn't disannul it. That still stands to this very day. That's right. That's right. Amen. 
Yeah, man. Basically, you know, get ready for judgment. All right. Get ready for death, destruction. All you niggas that fell out. All right. Tracy. You know, Yakko. All right. You fucking bug out agent for Satan, man. All you guys. Okay. You know who you are. Get ready for death. All right. Get ready for uh, for judgment. Esau, get ready. Get ready. Get ready to get um, get your ass beat. All right. <laughs> you get fucked up. You nations. Y'all ain't got next, man. All right. You bitches, man. You nigga women. All right. You spick bitches. You wet back hoes. All right. Hey, man. Get ready to be brutally raped and put to death. Beat up. Get ready for hard times, man. All you people. All right, get ready to suffer and get ready to be destroyed. Uh, destroy. Hey, cause we in the time of judgment, all right? And this is the year, this is, we're in the year of prophecy, man. And judgment is prophesied to come in a major way, all right? The judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shia, that is. So, yeah, um, if you want to add anything, you can close out. Okay. Judgment on the way? Judgment on the way, man. You know, uh, Lord's will this be the last Pesach, man, that we have here in Babylon, you know? Yeah, hey, with that, we're going to go ahead and close out. Um, hopefully it was edifying to you, Akiam. Uh, once again, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Rukak Kadash. All right, double honor to our apostle and elders, great millstone. And uh, Shalom, and Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Rukak Kadash. Uh, 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 Baraka uh, Thumb until you, brothers, man. You know, it's a Akyam, all right. You know, may brothers have a, a solid, a solid and solemn assembly, you know, Pasak, you know, and uh, hey, man, like I said, may this be the last one on this side. Hey, so yeah, with that, a Baba Ball, death to America, all right, you know, and, and death to the nigga woman. No. Shalom, Akiyam. Shalom.